Hey guys, Double Wide 6, and today what I'm working on is a lawnmower and it has a broken brake bale. So we're going to work on fixing this cable. So the uh, broken cable is probably one of the most common brakes on lawnmowers. And uh, people will throw out their lawnmowers because they have a broken cable. And this lawnmower, I had, it probably had a few problems, but I know the cable was one of them. And the uh, upper end of this cable is broken off, so we're going to pull this all the way through. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try and repair this cable, make a quick fix instead of buying the part. Now, generally speaking, I would recommend just buying a cable, it costs about 10, 12 bucks, and uh, you'll be done with the repair. And you can spend more time trying to fix these things. But recently, I had a YouTuber that came up to me in, a, in the comments and suggested that uh, I use some mechanics wire and try and repair these things. And it sounded pretty intriguing, so uh, I'm, I'm trying it for the first time here. And what we have is uh, this piece. And you can see that the, the plastic stud here is broken on, on this. So uh, I'm going to fix this. And we're going to try and run some mechanics wire through here and see if uh, this actually works. And we'll see how long it takes. I'm curious. But he said uh, he does this all the time and it works very well. So we're going to give it a shot. So the uh, mechanics wire that I'm using is an 18 gauge. And I know because I, I just ordered this stuff. So... I'm guesstimating about how long of a piece I need, so this should be good. So the next thing I'm going to fix before I put the wire on is I need to get this secured. And generally, you know, these things do break because they're plastic. And a really good way to fix them that looks nice and professional and works probably even better than the factory plastic is to uh, put some pop rivets in. So I'm gonna actually pop rivet this thing right on the handle. You can't put a bolt through here because you, they have the uh, cable running through here. So we're gonna drill this out and pop rivet. Pop rivets are a good way to do this thing. They're really strong and they look professional. So it's always good to have a a good riveter and a bunch of rivets on hand. They come in really handy. So all we have to do is uh, drill an eighth inch hole right where we want it. And we'll take our riveting tool. We'll Slip the pop rivet in there and we'll snap it off. Whoops. That one's on there. I'm going to put one on the bottom as well. They make uh, rivets in different sizes. If you use two that are too big, they'll hit each other. So these are about maybe a quarter inch. And that's on there nice and tight, not going anywhere. I guess you could stagger it. So if you put one towards the top here, you could put one towards the bottom if you only have longer rivets. Here we go guys, 
So we're starting on the band brake side of the mower. I'm going to take my mechanics wire. I'm going to put it through here about like this. And what we're going to do is take a vice grip and twist this off here. Twist it around a couple times. And I'm going to be using a binder clip. These little binder clips are really handy to have. So I'm going to take the binder clip and slide it down the wire here. I guess I could have put it on first, but it probably would have uh, slipped down the other end. So we'll slip that on there, and you know, I guess if you don't have a binder clip like this, you could probably solder that wire. And I'm gonna get my crimping pliers in here. There we go, and we'll crimp this off. That should be good. And I put a second crimp here just to make sure. And then we will cut that excess. Get a pair of snips. I'm cutting that excess because you don't want it hitting here. Alright, so now what we got to do is uh, feed this wire up through the... Uh, hose and sometimes these things get rusted a bit so I'm gonna feed this through here right up to the top I can tell it's already sticking a little it's probably be easier to do with uh, a little oil in there, WD-40, but it's going pretty good, so I'll just push this through. Okay, so now I'm on this uh, upper end here, and I'm going to put on one of these clips. I'm going to leave a little bit of play, but not much. I think I'll give this a twist and then we'll clip it off. All right. We'll have to see if that works. Actually, that feels pretty good. Well, guys, I had the mower outside, and it did start right up. And this seems to be working real well. Um, one thing I noticed is that this mechanics wire is, is a little bit thinner than what they have here. I measured this up, and this is the factory cable, it's a braided cable, and uh, it was coming in at about 60 thousandths of an inch, which I think uh, 0 0.063 is uh, 14 gauge, so, um, or actually that's 16 gauge, 0 0.063, and this stuff is 18 gauge. So I think uh, what I would recommend if you're trying to do these, these brake bales is uh, use 16 gauge. So I'll link that in the, down in the bottom. And the main thing about this fix is it really doesn't take too long. Um, you know, if it's going to take more than 15 minutes, it's not worth it. You know, you're just better off getting a part. But... Uh, this was the first one I did and 
Um, I think it, I don't know, I filmed it, but it didn't take that long. So, good little trick here, and I'll probably use this uh, down the road. So anyhow, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any ways to fix these cables, let me know. Take care, guys.